guys, I'm back with another video today, and today I'll be going with a pretty new deck that just came out in the Burst of Destiny, and I think that you guys enjoy. And so in this deck, I'll be going to their profile of Flundrigis. As you know, it literally just came out like what, yesterday, Burst of Destiny, I don't know, man, okay, look it up. I'm not fact dictionary, okay, look at Wikipedia, I don't do that actually. Uh, what's the point of this video? Oh, yes. Today we're going to be doing a deck profile of Flandries, and it's, um, combos, but, um, I don't think your opponent will be happy. <laughs> this deck can literally stop your opponent from playing Yu-Gi-Oh, from summoning, from activating, from even setting cards down, and, like, traps. Not even Solemn can stop this deck. So, let's get started. Okay, guys, today we'll be doing the basics of the basic and the... I, I didn't prepare for this. Anywho, we're going to be first starting off simple from doing three Rabina. Basically, the Flandries deck is a tribute deck, normal summon deck, no special summoning. This deck, if you you can't even special summon because this restricts you from special summoning, but don't be afraid because this deck, let's be real here, it don't need special summoning, okay? This deck is a loner. Now, Rabina, what Rabina does, it's a combo starter. It can automatically get you M-Pen, which I'll explain later what, you, what that card does. And this card is basically a combo starter. Rabina ability is that when this card is normal summon, you get to add one level four lower Flunderese, I mean, when Beast Monster from the deck to your hand. And if that effect resolves, then you get to normal summon a, a, wing, a wing Beast Monster from your hand. Pretty good, and I'll be showing the combo starting with this card and other cards at the uh, combo part. And I don't know what that card is called, part is called. So, moving on to, or yes. Rabina, a very important card. Next, a very important card is three Egan, Eaglen, e how do you pronounce this? Egan, e Eaglen, Eaglen, weirdo name. Eaglen basically is the same thing as Rabina, no uh, restriction on special summoning, you don't need special summoning, blah, blah, blah. Basically, when this card is normal sun, you get to add one level seven or level seven wing beast monster from the deck to your hand, and if that effect resolves, then you get to normal summon one wing beast monster from your hand. Pretty cool, huh? Right? These two goes together on a combo, which can literally OTK your opponent one turn, and they will surrender at one hundred percent. Next, next you're gonna be needing two two can. Basically, this card is for the combo starter, so basically, um, when this card is normal summon, then you can target one Banish Flundries card and add it to your hand, and if that effect resolves, you can get a normal summon one wing beast monster from your hand. Pretty cool. Uh, also, combo starter, I mean, not starter, but a combo piece. Next, we'll be going to the boss monster, going to M-Pen. I'm sorry, wrong order. Yeah, M-Pen. M-Pen is a really good card. And pen, base, and pen basically negates all the face up attacking position monsters. And you can't really put a face down attack position. You know, I don't know how to talk today. Anywho, the second effect of that when this card is summoned, then you get to, or the effect of it is to, when this card is summoned, you get to add one spell or trap, flundery spell or trap, fluandery spell or trap card from the deck to your hand. And if that effect resolves, then, then you can normal summon one. One beast monster from your hand. Pretty good, right? And that's not even all it does. It's a pretty good card. And this deck relies on normal summoning. So the only thing you can't even solemn strike them. The only thing you can do is you can solemn judgment them. The next card we'll be moving on to is more of the negates. So moving on, we'll be going with oh, where is it? We'll be going to one Apex Avion. You know what that is? It's an Omni Negate. Sea Morph. Um Basically stops them from playing Yu-Gi-Oh! So when we stop them from doing anything, then we can do this. So they can't set no solemn, no strikes, no anything. Um, Seamorph is a, um, how is it? A hard card to, uh, stop. Uh, second card is Berry Statue Stormwind. I think you all know what that does. Lava Golem, you know what that does. Burn damage and to get rid of their monsters like Kaijus. Which is actually the next card. Kaiju, three ash, one effect failure. Pretty sure that's pretty understandable. And I don't think I need to explain these four cards or five. So we'll be moving okay, on. Guys. 
uh, Flendery flew on. I hate that name. Flendery. I'm just gonna call it Flendery's. Flendery's new card is or not? Or I don't know what you call it. The an, an explode win. It's basically draw power, so you can so you can put two wing beast monsters in your hand on the bottom deck and draw equal to that amount of cards that you put on the bottom deck. You can put up to two cards on the bottom deck to draw that much too. It's basically a not plus or minus, you know, neutral. But the other effect is that it's pretty good. To be. What this card does is that you can tribute summon a monster that needs two monsters to tribute for that card using one card on your side of the field and one card on their side of the field. But this is also a pretty good card. It also lets you get the draw power and possibly a combo starter. And it also get rid of the other opponent monster without getting, just destroying them. So it can get through over cards, not Dragoon, but come on, let's be real here, what can? And here, moving on to the next card, we're going to be getting this map. Flew under is the Magnificent Map. This map card basically says that you can just, you can reveal to your opponent a level 1 Flunderies Wing Beast Monster and you get to banish one card from the deck with a different name and banish that Flunderies card to normal summon the level 1 card. This is an amazing combo starter and with 2 can, that card can literally get the banish card back. So if you banish trap, boom! 2 can ability, get that card back, boom! Combo starter. And during the second effect is that if you summon a Flundery, if if an, if you normal summon a Flundery's monster, then you can normal summon one more from your hand. That's pretty good, right? Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Yeah, it's pretty good. Moving on to the next spell. Duality. Uh, draw power. Don't think I need to explain that. Moving on to the next one. The next, the next section is going to be trap cards. So, Scary C. Scary C basically quick. Uh, quick is a um, okay, a speed spell three, I believe. Yeah, speed spell no, uh, speed three something. I don't know, man. Okay. Anywho, basically it says that when your opponent normal summons a, I mean special summons a monster, negate the sum. I mean, yeah, negate the summon, and if you do, destroy that card. And it also and the second ability is that if that effect resolves, then your opponent cannot special summon for the rest of this turn. But 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 but, but if but that is amazing and it stops from special summoning. But your opponent can conduct up to three normal summons, including the one that they you know just including the one that they normal summoned. So that is um, really good. But the part that summons three, that one's questionable but we'll be moving on to the next trap first second we're gonna be dreaming town dreaming town is the key card of this deck basically what this card does is that we, if when you activate it you get to summon one level four or lower wing beast monster from your hand and and if this card is in the graveyard while you summon while you summoned a level seven or higher well you tributed a level seven or higher wing beast monster then you get to banish this card from the graveyard and put all face up opponent monster face down which is so good and the things that it doesn't target nor destroy so dragoon good luck to you too so we'll be moving on to the next trap the next trap is to be uh mostly like cards like banquet millions on strike morning point so for you the guys that don't know banquet a million banquet million is like I'm not explaining this, but basically you can banish any amount of extra deck monsters from the extra deck. You can banish any amount of cards from the extra deck, and you get to choose them. Like if you banish 15 cards from the extra deck, then your opponent has to banish 15 cards from the extra deck. But when it's the end of their turn, or when it's the end of your turn, their cards that got banished got get returned to the back to the extra. But the cards that you banish don't get don't get returned but the thing is that <coughs> this deck doesn't play any extra monsters these are just like cards like what like elder entities and stuff like that those are like what terrible cards for being with millie you can literally during your opponent's turn banish an entire extra deck and during their turn they have to manage the entire extra deck so it's pretty good 
And they can't do Anaconda nor Dragoon, because, I mean, like, come on. Think hard, some strike, don't need to explain. Warning point, warning point basically says that you can target one monster that was summoned this turn, and that card cannot be used for, for any, for no tributes, no XYZs, no Link, no Synchro, no Ritual, no, 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 no! And the thing is that there, that card effect gets negated and it cannot attack, which is so good. It literally stops them dead in their track. So, that's why I think it's pretty good. So, we'll be moving on to the combos, and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, guys, moving on to the combos. Basically, this is a one-card combo that can literally kill your opponent. So, the one card you'll need is Rabina. Rabina is a super card, a super good card, and as I said earlier, is a combo starter. All you need is her, and to basically kill your, kill your opponent. So during your turn, you're gonna go and normal summon Rabina, and then Rabina gonna go and add the Eaglin. Eaglin, or not Eaglin, but Rabina ability. When that effect resolves, you get a normal summon one, a wind piece from your hand. Then you get to use Eaglin ability to add a level 7 or higher wind beast monster, add an M pen. Now you're gonna go and tribute these two monsters using Eaglin ability to summon M pen. Now, this is the crazy part. You're gonna go and declare your chains by going chain link. Oh yeah, also I forgot to mention this, but uh, basically all the Fluanderies cards basically says that when this card leaves, when any of these cards leaves the field, they get banished instead. So just keep that in mind. So these two got banished because they left the field. Now I'm gonna declare the chains. Chain link one, chain link two, chain link three. The chains go like this. So M pen will add a trap. These two will add to the hand. So you basically chain block them. So basically you do these two first. Go ahead and add your your e Rabina and Eaglin to your hand, which is super good. So you still have five cards in your hand. And using M pen ability, you get to add the Dreaming Town. You go ahead and get, gonna set the Dreaming Town and end the turn. This may not seem like a really this may seem like a pretty uh, not so good board, but wait. If your opponent literally does anything, if your opponent normal summons a monster, or if your opponent like decides, I don't know, like special summon a monster, you're gonna go and flip and activate Dreaming Town and Dreaming Town ability. Go ahead and summon your Rabina. And, and Dreaming Town gets into the graveyard. Rabina ability, you're gonna go ahead and add, or you're not gonna add, anything but for the sake of this you're gonna go ahead and add your storm wing and that will be for next turn when you normal summon and kill your opponent otk them now when that effect resolves you're going to use eagle and ability or not eagle but rabin ability when that effect resolves normal summon eagle eagle and ability go ahead and add a little seven high wing beast monster now this is an important part if you want an omni negate then you can do apex avion but if you want to OTK them and make sure they don't set any powerful traps, like if you go against Elich, then do Dark Seamorph. Dark Seamorphs prevent them from setting traps, so good luck. Apex Avian, Avian is an is a Omni Gate, and Stormwinds is in your hand, obviously. So, with Eaglin ability, let's say for the sake of this video, we want to kill the opponent. So, we're going to go ahead and do these two for Seamorph. And obviously, you know, these get banished. And these two get get right back inside your hand. So really, you just got one more card. You started with one card, and now you have this. So this may not look that good, but let's be real here. One, if they decide to attack your Seamorph, or if they decide to do anything here, if they want to attack your M pen. Well, M pen, if you attack to M pen, then the opponent loses half their attack. So good day. And Seamorph prevent them from saying traps. And if they d decide to normal summon, then since a level seven wing beast monster was summoned, you get to banish your dreaming town and put all their monsters face down. And they can't set any cards, so basically they have they can't do anything. So, uh, yeah, they can't set cards. All their monsters are face down because of dreaming town. They can't even attack into M Pen. Seamorph, let's be real here, you're not gonna attack into him. And next turn, you can do the literal same thing again, but even better. 
So, Lord have mercy. I hope that the opponent won't be mad at you. <laughs> so, the board is cuckoo. And now, moving on to the next combo. Okay, guys, combo number two is how to kill your opponent. Don't let them live. Don't let them set any cards. Don't let them summon. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and normal summon your Rabina. Rabina ability is going to go ahead and add you your two can. Now you're going to go and use Rabina ability since you did that. Normal summon your Eaglin. Now Eaglin ability, let's you go ahead and add your M pen. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Guess which graveyard? Banished. Summon your M pen. Chilling one, chilling two, chilling three. Go ahead and add these to your hand so you have a plus one. And go ahead and add your mysterious map. Now what you're going to do now is you're going to activate your mysterious map. And you're going to go ahead and reveal your two can, And you're going to normal summon him by, by banishing the Dreaming Town. But don't be dreaming yet. Because when this card is normal summon, two can ability. Go ahead and add you your Dreaming Town. Go ahead and set your Dreaming Town. And because it, cause you did that, you get a special summon Robino. Now, Robina ability, because we didn't even get to use her ability yet, you're going to go ahead and add you your Stormwind. Obviously, you might be thinking, oh my god, man, why are you doing that? Well, you'll see why later. You're going to go ahead and end your turn, and when your opponent normal summons or special summons the monster, you're going to activate your mysterious map. Go ahead and summon your Eaglin, and Eaglin ability to go ahead and... I mean, I'm so sorry. You're going to use your mysterious map to summon the storm winds. And now you're going to activate your dreaming town. This card gives an into graveyard to go and special summon your eaglin. Now, eaglin ability, go ahead and add either two of these to your hand. But for the sake of this video, we're going to do dark sea morph because we want to OTK them. So, you're going to go ahead and add this to your hand and, and, um, Eagle in ability. Go ahead and do one and two. I'm oh, sorry. These for Dark Sea Morph. And obviously, it's so fair that we get to get these two back in our hand because, come on, stop complaining. Yu Gi Oh! This is how to play Yu Gi Oh! people. You get to add these back to your hand, doing the exact same thing. And now, your opponent can't summon any monsters. And if your mon and if your opponent manages to squiggle around and summon another monster, go ahead and banish your Dreaming Town. Put them all face down. And if they want to set a solemn, sorry, you can't do that with Dark Sea Morph. And let's, for God's sake, say that they want to attack M Pen with a Dragoon or some sort. I don't know how they get that out, but they're gonna get half Dragoon and attack in half. Get that people away. And next turn. You literally have these two back in your hand. You have three more cards in your hand that can literally be Ash, Dragoon, I mean, I'm so sorry, not Dragoon. You can, they can literally be anything, okay? These two, M Pen, destroy. Dark Sea Morph, go bye bye. Dark, I mean, not even. Storm Winds, oh boy, good luck. So, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and make sure to stick around for my next video. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and see you guys later. Bye!